there's this whole notion that women love the bad boy, but it's more the guy who's who has ambition and who's a bit of a risk taker and who isn't afraid to speak his mind. If you want to call him the bad boy, call him the bad boy, but that's what it is. It's those traits of someone who sort of like just takes his own way, takes the highway, you know, doesn't really care about what other people think, might say something a bit controversial, but he's emotionally intelligent enough to recover from it. He'll make a joke out of it and he'll, he'll deal with it. Yeah. Yeah, and I know exactly what you're talking about. First thing we get guys to do on when I'm teaching is to get him to disagree with the first thing. So we give him this line about guess where she's from or is it's either nationality or states maybe in 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 this uh, in America um, nationality, occupation or hobby. So you get a lot of girls on the Santa Monica Boulevard in LA where they they've got their yoga mats, they've got their um, you're talking about down at 3rd Street, yeah? Yeah, down on 3rd Street. There's a million yoga schools all around there. Yeah. Exactly. And it's, it's this thing, you know, you're walking around with a yoga mat. So imagine you saw a girl on 3rd Street. We want to make a comment about her that would be wrong. Yes. That's a good way of putting it. We want to make a wrong comment about her. So I would say how many girls that are walking around in LA on 3rd Street would be, say, from a French city? Let's say south of France. Let's say Marseille. Right, so I mean, 0.001% chance of that happening. Um, so there's a real good chance that I'm going to get this wrong, and I want that to be the case. So I'm like, you look like you're from the south of France, not even the north. Because even if she is from France, there's a good chance of me getting this wrong. And the reason why I want to get that wrong is because I want to cause a bit of controversy, and that it what instigates attraction because we for the first thing we do is capture them with with our stop with giving them a compliment a very easy going compliment and the next thing we want to do is get into attraction which is this fiery spicy conversation yeah. i call it having a spicy few moments that makes her go who the hell is this guy you know she needs to have that push a few buttons <clears throat> push yeah. a few buttons and to make the to make the energy between you connect on that level because and it goes back to connection again. It's what sort of guys would tease her? What sort of guys would push her buttons? Boyfriends, daddy, when she was 10 years old, just play around with her, not take her seriously. And it goes back to the symbolism thing again. Oh, I know people who I'm comfortable with who do that to me. My best friend always does stupid things. That's how their best, even her best girlfriends are gonna talk that way. Exactly. Yeah. They so don't push play straight away you're in that bracket mm -hmm. you know so that's why we teach uh, so, so I've said South France she's like no um you know I'm local right mm -hmm. right so I'm local and I go the first thing you want to do is no way there's no way you're local um where's your yoga mat where's your the, the, you know you did like that's like the basic thing you need as a local you need your yoga mat yep. and that's the you know straight away you're into like what no like i'm, I'm so the way we call that yeah. is we just say you're creating a little tension exactly and we need to get everything a good conversation has some tension in it, at least when you're meeting somebody for the first time exactly and that tension opens that doorway so, exactly yeah and the symbolism of that is people who are willing to disagree with her, willing to tease her like she is their best mate. And that, ironically enough, what <clears throat> we have something called just normal conversation because we want that to be a part of it as well. You've got to have to be able to have a normal conversation too. But the problem with getting into a normal co conversation before attraction is she kind of just dismisses you as this guy who's just played it completely safe with her. You haven't earned the right to have a normal conversation. Exactly. Like. Yeah. Exactly. And why would she open up? If you go to her, oh, so what school did you go to? Why should she give you that information? Because mm -hmm. she, there's no value in you yet for her to open up in that way. Whereas if you do it after the teasing, after that bit of tension and spice, now you're valuable to her. Now she wants to open up about UCLA all of a sudden and what the campus is like and give you extra information that you can play around with. What would it be like to be the master at the art of creating sexual tension with women? To be so good that you don't even think about it. You just do it because that's who you are. The best analogy I've ever come up with is the way you should approach someone during the day is imagine if they just um, dropped their wallet on the floor and you've picked it up. 
And in that moment, you're not gonna run over and go, hi, sorry, um, can I just give you this back? Would that be okay? No, you're gonna feel like a million dollars for doing that. And you're gonna feel so confident in that moment that she's gonna love you. You're gonna go up to her and go, hey, sorry, you just dropped your wallet. And you want the whole world to hear it. 